Hey, Shalom, Grand Rising OCO. Oh, I'm sorry because I had a race this morning, and it was amazing. This this uh this chick and her um <laughs> anybody who watched videos, y'all you know that I'm a car guy. This chick, she raced me in her um her Camaro, and it was a V6. She flew right past me, looked at me crazy, man. And she sped right past me. I'm like, oh, okay. I got time today. <laughs> so I raced her. Smoked her. Of course, she's. I'm in a V8. She's in a V6. She has no chance. I don't know why she thought she could beat me in a race. She had no chance, really. But yeah, smoked her. Um, and sadly, that footage is not being uploaded for some reason. I don't know why. But it's corrupted or whatever. And I think also because I was talking about martial law. I tried to code the video to where, you know, probably wouldn't get picked up as martial law. Because videos like that, they like to ban. And yeah, so anyways, that won't happen. But yeah, man, I fucking smoked her, guys, man. She is in her, her Camaro and on her license plate it said bad girl. <laughs> bad girl she learned that morning man she learned this morning <laughs> it's funny because she was feeling too good and when i kept passing her like we was going smashing on it and i kept smashing i kept passing her and sometimes i would even let her go past me and smash give her that head start and i would just come back right past her by the time we got to the end of her race she went from sitting all like all happy and just like this in her chair like <laughs> It was funny, but yeah, man, people, man, this is the second time within a week span that someone in their V6 tried to race me in my V8. It's like, it's not going to happen, buddy. It's not going to happen. The other time, it was a uh, Mustang. They tried to race me. I put in that. I had to give them the work. Had them looking silly, man. Mind you, it was raining that day, too, so y'all know anything about Chargers and Challengers, man. Our traction is doo-doo. When, when it's uh, wet out there. Our traction is just not that good in the first place, but uh, even more so when it's raining. I still smoke that damn uh, Mustang. It was a V6, I, I believe, also. And see, if if you're not going to get a V8, say if V8s are too expensive for you, get you a, a four-cylinder with turbo. It's like right under a V8. It's definitely better than a V6, but it's like right under a V8. Uh, I heard that they're supposed to be doing that with the Chargers also. They're supposed to be doing, like, turbo. I'm not sure if they're going to be getting rid of the, the the RTs or anything like that. But, yeah, that's that's what I heard they're supposed to be doing. So, I don't know. Oh, but you should try it. It's going to be around for that shit. <laughs> the way the most high is moving, nah. I don't think it's going to be around. You know, speaking of which, I'm, I'm going to talk about what I was talking about in the other video. Because I don't think that's going to upload. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, it's, it's getting, it's getting worse every day, you know, for water, yeah. Um, me and my wife, our to bag, our to go bags or our bug out bags are ready because I don't want to stay in this society because if you're paying attention to the most high, which I was saying in another video, which I don't think is going to upload either. If you're paying attention to the most high, you can see the signs. Even if they're subtle, you can see the signs that the Most High is showing you. Let me switch to my speed speedometer. So I can actually see how fast I'm going. So if that cop is up here again, I'm just getting all the way over in my lane. Just get that bitch ass, asshole cop is up here. But, uh, yeah, so. Yeah. Anyway, so, yeah, like I was saying, um, I would rather be out in the wilderness, you know, because if you're paying attention to the most high signs, you can see, even the subtle signs, you can see that they're, they're creeping in martial law. Even the heathens are seeing it. You know, even the Gentiles see what's going on, you know. Um, and they're just slowly implementing martial law. They're slowly taking away your freedom. You know, the first things they did were they sent the kids home. They went from saying, okay, the kids may be home for two to three weeks. Okay, now it's, it's a chance that they may be at home until the end of the summer, until the next school year. 
Then it went from that to, okay, well, now people, some jobs are going to be cut out. You know, some people aren't going to be working. It went from that to, okay, now we are limiting the amount. Okay, we want you guys to stay home. They told us that. Then they said, okay, well, now we want you guys to no longer go to the library. We're closing down libraries. We're closing down bars. We're closing down movie theaters. We're closing down dining restaurants. You can't go and dine in anymore. Um, daycare centers. Uh, all these other places, right? Now they're kicking people off of parks, out of parks, beaches, stuff like that. They don't want a lot of people there. I mean, it's just so much that they're doing. You know, now we got cities that are going into full lockdown to where they're telling everybody you have to be in your house. We, 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 you know, you have a curfew now and we, we only want you guys out for essential things. So now they're starting to take, in, take away more and more of your freedom. And that park, see, there's a park over here to my left. They have the bar up. It's closed. And it's usually open by 6 o'clock in the morning. And it's closed. So they got a lot of parks blocked off, you know to where you can't go and I'm about to go to another park up here and, uh, I believe on the back side there's a trail I'm not sure but um the golf course right here is closed <laughs> so a lot of these uh, public facilities they're being closed off and I feel like they're doing that for a reason they're strategically doing things everything happens for a reason you feel me um but they have that closed you know um so they're slowly, slowly creeping in martial law. I'm sorry about my phone. The phone is up and turned sideways. But yeah, they're creeping in martial law. Next thing you know, they're going to be telling you that you can't leave your home at all. You know, so don't take those messages lightly where people say that, hey, I have a family member or a friend who's telling me this. They work for the government, that martial law is going to happen or they're going to give a message by time, a certain time, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, because now, you know, we can't do anything. You can't go to the gym. You can't do none of that stuff. Look, they got the park up here closed. See? This park is closed, too. So, it's like, well, what are you guys doing? <laughs> yeah, see, it's like, well, what are you guys doing? Why are you closing off these parks? Why are all these public places closed off? You know, why are city members, workers who don't even have, who are not even working around a ton of people, why are they no longer working anymore? See, I can't even go back there anymore. There's a fence back. There's a fence right here that's closed off. And this park opens at 6 a.m. and yet it's closed. So all these parks are closing. Mind you, the other place, this is, this is Columbus. I just came from Gahanna. So all these cities are in solidarity with each other. So, um... Yeah, they're not playing. They are not playing. Look, you got a person out here jogging because all gyms are closed. I mean, it's just crazy, right? So, they're taking more and more of your liberties. And it's going to be at a point to where they are going to say, hey, stay in your house. Now you can't leave your house for even essential things. Look at her. She's running over here and it's closed. She's silly. So now you can't even, you know, go home for essential things, you know? I mean, you can't leave your house for essential things. So when those messages are telling you, you know, get food for two two weeks to a month, they're not lying. You should. Because pretty soon there may be an announcement, you know, there's rumor that there's going to be an announcement by the end of this weekend. Today is Sunday. That we may go into a full lockdown nationwide we're going we may get martial law and that's believable the reason why i say this is because the other messages from before was telling us that these things were going to happen and they happen you know um also you know this is what the governors of different states have been asking for they've been asking for full lockdowns they've been asking for basically martial law from the federal government and trump he says no that's something that should be done statewide you know on the state level but if they ask if they keep asking for it it's going to happen 
and they're trying to make it seem like it's not Trump who wants it, but it's it's the states who want it. So you can't blame Trump, right? That's the bullshit they're trying to pull on us. But we see it coming. We see it happening, you know. But yeah, you know, they're they're slowly creeping in martial law and they're gonna keep you in your house, they're gonna starve you guys out because that's what they do during war times. You know, they call off the the supply to the enemies that are fortified in their in their in their cities. And that's basically what's going on with us in our homes, we're fortified. You know, and they're gonna starve us out, and then they're gonna cause anarchy out here. And like the Freemasons say, they always say they always have this motto: "Out of chaos comes what order." Okay. You know, so they're going to want to cause chaos so that they can have a reason to move in the national guards and to lock down cities with the national guard forcefully. You see, and uh, that's exactly what's going to happen. They're going to try to take your guns from you. People who don't, guess what? You're, they're going to kill your ass. They're going to try to kill you. They're going to have a shootout. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. So they want anarchy to happen so that they can send, so they can control the troops and have the troops, you know, line you guys up, send you guys to concentration camps, do all types of crazy shit, you know? So that's why I'm hoping, you know, and pray every day, you know, the most high gives me a sign to give all the other brothers and sisters in the faith a sign to when it's time to go you know what I'm saying I know that in the book of Isaiah it talks about how um, it basically talks about quarantine how we should stay in our homes that's a big ass geese how we should stay in our homes and let the most high pass over us so that he can you know assert his wrath on the Gentiles and heathens destroy them well, that's that could be what's going on right now. I mean, you know, because the book of Isaiah is very prophetic, especially dealing with what's going on in the, the end days, which is what we're in right now. So, yeah, you know, but I say, man, when shit gets real bad, when they're killing people, even before that, hopefully the most I would give us a sign before that to just go, to get out in the wilderness and survive out there, because that's what I'm doing. I got my fishing bait. I just brought some more fishing bait. Um, some hooks, some sinkers, all types of stuff. You know. But my ass, I'm I'm ready to roll. I'm ready to get the hell up out. For real. We got our to-go bags, our bug out bags filled and everything, you know, with things that we need. Most of the stuff are essential things. My wife, she got some things that aren't necessarily essential, but that she wants. I have a meat wagon. Anybody who goes hunting, they know what that is. Um, and that's basically who I'm going to be carrying my stuff on if I ever leave on foot and able to pull pull that with. But when they, say when they assert martial law, what it's going to be like, it's going to be like how it is over in the Middle East. They're not going to have troops stationed at every damn house. There's just not enough troops for that. But what they're going to try to do is they're going to do street patrols. You know, because they can't send troops to every city, every damn town, and every neighborhood, every block. They can't do that. It's just not enough soldiers for that. So they're more than likely going to be on patrols, you know, moving around and stuff like that. Blocks. They may even, you know, deputize, you know people and even use law enforcement to help with controlling you know the population and curfew and stuff like that most people are afraid so they're not going to buck up against the government they're not they're not because they're afraid most of them are but yeah that's that's basically what's going to happen little by little and i don't want to be around to see that shit i'd rather be out in the wilderness living life and enjoying myself the thing is is i don't want to move too soon you know what I'm saying? I don't want to move before the Most High gives me a sign to move. You know? But, um, yeah. The Most High is definitely working for us. That's why I'm not afraid. You know, I'm not afraid because I know the Most High is doing this for us. You know, I may not make it. I may die in the process. Oh, but I'm not afraid because I know that the Most High is putting in work for His people. Everything that's happening right now is for us. And that's just what it is. Yeah. Man. So, yeah, man. Well, all right, guys. I'll talk to you later. I hope that you guys stay blessed. 
stay prayed up not only for yourselves but do it for the nation you know stay prayed up for all of us so i want to say with that you know peace out shalom you have a bless